hi loves welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tamara if it is your first time here you're most definitely welcome welcome to the tammy family if you're an old subscriber thank you for always coming back don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel it's going to be something that has been asked on my channel so from the title i guess you know what we are going to talk about i've been getting a lot of questions like what are some of the things I should take to school, the do's and the don'ts, the things I really need in school and all that. So today, that's what we are going to do. I've been looking down because I have a notepad. I really want to forget. So yes, let's get into today's video. Okay, so the first thing is... For somebody who is going to school and nursing school as a first year student like before you go to the school the school will give you prospectors they'll give you the things you have to bring to school so in my school as a reference i don't know for other schools we're giving prospectors as in that was in 2016 we're giving prospectors to the girls the things we bring the boys so you bring broom scrubbing brush and i guess and what cutlass a whole lot uniform like the material calico uniform green and white calico and all that i don't know if things have changed nowadays but i know that they'll give you prospectors the things you buy shoes the kind of shoes they want they want um the shoes that the, the shoes that doesn't make noise <laughs> in the as an asia rubber no? yes that's are the kind of shoes they want they want they don't want um a shoe that you can polish our principal is very particular about it they don't want mirror shoes all those kind of shoes they don't want they want shoes that you can polish with rubber sole and all that and also as a first year student when you are going to school i advise that electronic gadgets are not really allowed in school so the only thing that are allowed in school is your phone charger your phone laptop laptop charger <laughs> and i think iron rice cooker and um, what is it called oh um the thing that they plug in you can cook on it I forgot the name that one is not allowed anything that can really a battery light is not allowed heater kettle and um, hand dryers they are not allowed so please when you are going to school you should be mindful of that and also in my school a lot of people come to school without lockers because they didn't know about it so when you are going to school like when you are going for your prospectus from the school you can ask any of your seniors that are you supposed to bring lockers or this does the school provide you with lockers and all that um if you are going to do in doing nursing and military training college you might get some of the lockers there but it's quite expensive you can um what's it called you can get some in town and most of the times the seniors that have the seniors that will be leaving the school that are the um, third year students sometimes they leave their lockers to be sewn to first year students so you might be lucky those are not really expensive and normally they are in very good shapes so you can get those so lockers i don't know for other schools but my school we use lockers so yes if you're going to do or you can ask maybe your school uses locker so yeah ask ask before you go and also because we are giving allowances and all that you have to get an ease wish card an ease wish card i advise that you do it before you go to school because hmm, this is wish thing i nearly died in school Massey. i think i've told the story on my channel before i don't really remember the particular um the particular video i told the story but 
it was really stressful when we were in school that was the time they introduced the allowances so we didn't know we were supposed to have ease wish and all that so i advise that before you go to school you can register for your ease wish and get your card so that when the time comes sorry so when the time comes for you to register for your allowance it will be stressful for you and when we are in school when you go to first year after your orientation and all that we do indexing indexing is like they are ushering you they are taking your name to nmc so nmc will give you an index number so that when it's time for your final exams that is your licensing exams you use that index number to register yeah i think that's how it is so you would the indexing is very very serious indexing they will take your birth certificate your wasi i think your index number which is already in the system but some people do forge their results so they take everybody's results back to work to verify if it's really you identify you are the one with the exams your pictures and everything is you your name so if you have a change of name you might do gazette if you have hyphen in your name you do gazette hyphen be a from nana no those with local english name um um what's the called? oh let's say spend the love rahel the spend love hyphen rahel a be a button so if you have hyphen in your name you will do index uh, you do gazette so your the name the name you used to register for your work should match the name you have on your birth certificate so i advise that if you don't have a birth certificate you do so before you go to school or you should do that process before the indexing process starts because when it starts it's a whole lot of pressure and if you are not able to do your indexing there's no reason for you to be in school it's either you go back home come with another badge and come and do your indexing or you just leave the school our time um one of our mates i don't know what happened it was delayed and um they were fined i think so some huge amount of money we have to do contribution we had to do contribution to solicit for fun and help them i think they were like 10 or so so please it is very important um what okay someone also asked me a question that if you go to school and let's say you you don't you don't want the course you did the course you've been given or the course you choose let's say you want to do rgn and you want to do midway free you've changed your mind and you want to do midway free but you gain an admission for rgn so what i, I one advice i'm i would give to you is before you pay your school fees in the school normally you do your school fees in draft or something like that so before you go and pay your school fees because when you go and pay your school fees you are registered in the rgn that is registered genuineness so if you pay your school fees that means there's nothing they can do but if before you pay your school fees you go and meet the vice principal or the administrator to inform them that oh this and this because you meet the requirements you might be able to switch your course during night our uh, time something like that happened but because the person had uh, hadn't really paid her school fee she was able to swap but if let's say you are uh, your your school doesn't offer the course you want to do that means there's nothing you can do so let's say you you um your school you you got origin and you want to switch to let's say registered community health nursing and if your school doesn't offer that course there's nothing they can do but let's say you um you bought a form for NAC that is nursing assistant clinic but you didn't get a D or you meet the IGN requirements when you talk to the school administration they might be able to change it for you and all that so yeah that's just about it I don't know what else 
and yes i've also been getting questions about if we wear check like shs no please we wear a house attire so when you are going you can bring your house attire decent ones so decent ones decent house attire that makes you comfortable because um we go to school from seven to five so seven a.m to five so you'll be in your school uniform throughout so when you close you can change into your house attire when you're going for preps you wear your house attire when you're in the dormitory or your hostels you wear house attire Saturdays house attire you are able to go out it's not like shs that you are really confined you are able to go out but normally the school has a curfew so let's say by 10 pm the gates are locked if you don't come inside and you are not like a do roll call and you are not in the school you'll be in trouble so yes i think shoes you can wear ch church like how you are at home oh, sorry I, your church dresses heels makeup and all that but you can't wear makeup to class but you can wear makeup to church maybe entertainment school is fun like it's like yeah in uni but it's not really confined as hs shs so yes i think that's about it i think i'm going to end the video here if i remember anything i think i might add it to the next video i'm going to do i hope you have fun i hope you've learned a lot thank you for always watching for those of you who watched till the end thank you so much i'm going to see you in the next one thank you bye